Habang kanina pa tayo nagkakwentuhan, over Sports 5.ph, we now welcome in our live audience over TV5, Labanang San Miguel Birmen at Miracle Balls coming to you live from inside the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Mag-umargin po ang inyong lingkod. Makakasama natin si Dominic Uy with Apple David joining us later on. San Miguel has been red hot, Dom. They've been delivering beatdown after beatdown. They look to keep in step with Alaska and pick up their eighth win tonight. Well, San Miguel Beerman, they want to get to that top two spot. Kanina nanalo na itong Alaska Aces. Gusto naman nila na sila rin makakuha ng eighth win. And they've been doing it methodically. They've been doing it as a team. Very scary for the Morocco Bulls. Laban ng Sapula, Sapote, Sasahig ng Smart Araneta Coliseum. And it is the Red Shirts of the San Miguel Beerman winning that tap. Pero inunahan naman pala ni Arwin kasi. Yung referee at yung bola doon, kaya violation yun. So Miralco will have first possession here with Dillinger, Hodge, Ferriols, Atkins, and David as their five, being guarded by Ross, Pascual, Santos, Lutz, and Fajardo. One thing going for the Miralco Bulls is itong si Gary David. The past few games, his scoring has definitely picked up for Miralco. Ang problema lang, his, his scoring has picked up, pero yung wins hasn't been the same. You know, largely because yung ibang mga tao, syempre nawawala ng ibang opportunities once Gary David is there. You understand that Gary needs to take his shots. So when Gary's taking his shots, the others need to find ways to be able to get their points and not beg for the ball. Si Clifatch nga, bumagsak na sa 12. Ang kanyang average dito after leading this team earlier on. 2-0 ang nasa ating talaan. As June Marfardo troops to the line for two shots. You know, we talked about it at the beginning of the coverage. June Marfardo and Arwin Santos, possibly the best tandem, the big men, dito sa liga ngayon. They are playing against the Miracle Bolts, who are shorthanded to begin with. Kung completo yung lineup nila, mas lalo na hindi pa makakalurot yung sirene ng Hugnatan. You know, we look, when you look at Miralco, walang big man. There's no legit big guy except maybe Renal Hugnatan. You know, not to take away anything from guys like John Ferriol, pero yung level of uh, the big men of the Miralco Bolts, very, you know, pale in comparison against the San Miguel Birmen. Lamang na dito, Birmen, 3-2, mamaya-maya. Babalitaan tayo ni Ms. Apple David kung ano nga ba ang kondisyon ni Reynal and the rest of the guys of the cast of this ballgame. Perios from the baseline will miss. San Miguel Birmen, one of the hottest teams in the PBA today together with Rainer Shine and Pure Foods. Winners of four consecutive. Gusto ni Arwin, sila yung maging pinakahates by picking up their fifth string. Pascual with a steal. Ross back to Pascual. Medyo nag-alanganin sa kanyang pasa. Nailang tuloy si Arwin sa kanyang tira. Unselfishness yun eh. When you think about it, usually kapag nagahabol ka ng putos or pag gusto mo makaputos na paminsan-minsan ka lang or natatakot ka baka hindi ka na mapapasahan ulit, you will want to take that layup. Pero pinapagalitan siya ni Coach Leo Ostre. Dapat na itira na niya. Yeah. Layup mo na. Nasa eh, harap ka na ng ring eh, no? Sometimes being uh, selfless is not a good thing. David mula sa kanto is fouled. That's a guy who's never shy about taking a shot. Not this guy, Lutz. And si Gary David, he will move to the line for three shots. Pinapanggit mo na kanina ito. Kanina pa po kami nagkikwentuhan kasi over sports5.ph. Bago nyo kaming samahan live dito sa TV5. Ito si Gary David, as of late, has definitely picked it up. Well, definitely. Also, kapag tinignan mo yung first three games and the next five games ng Miral, kung hinahanap na natin talaga itong si Gary David, initially, they were trying to go to like guys like Cliff Hodge, Raynan Lugnatan at the post. Also, because dun sa mga nakakalaban nila, you know, the guys that they played against, they felt that that's where they had the advantage. Pero nung uminit na itong si Gary David, when they're able to look for him and he started knocking down shots, tuloy-tuloy na ang, uh, you know, you can see that Coach Norman Black is calling plays specifically for Gary David. Last five games, and si Gary David has averaged 16 points per outing. Ang mas malaking bagay doon, pumapasok na yung mga tres niya. Ito na tatlo game kasi eh. Talaga nagsastruggle. Ito si El Granada. Santos from the baseline gets the bounce. If you notice that, anong ginawa ng Miralco? They went into a full court pressure, and then they sat down on a zone defense. Very important, pag naka-zone ka, you're playing against a very tall team. You have to find a man to box out. Dillinger from the left side, Mindis. 
Salto spread aboard. And while the Beermen are on a four game win streak in Peralco Wolfstorm, napapansin natin sobra ang pagiging inconsistent so far in this Philippine Cup. They got blown away by 41 points earlier on in the tournament. Pumawi naman sila. Very next game, tinambakan yung Enlex. Tapos doon sa out of town game sa Davao, aba, binugbog sila. Mahigit 30 yung naging uh, biggest lead ng Rainer Shine sa Kalab before settling for a 28 point win. Pero the very next game, nakabawi din naman kagad, Ginebra pa pinatumba. Oh, tapos sumunod kagad doon, pure food star. But you know, halos back-to-back -back games yun, Friday and Sunday. So mukhang pagod din yung Meralco coming into that Sunday game. But they were able to come back, natalo lang sila doon sa dulo. Pure food star had huge plays with Yusef Saha. With all due respect to Kia, nasusunod na kalaban ng Meralco sa December 3. This is the tail end of a killer stretch para sa Meralco Balls. They took on uh, Token Tex and then uh, yung Rainer Shine and then Barangay Ginebra, Pure Boots and now San Miguel. Kaya parang uh, after tonight, medyo luluwag yung hininga. Oh, tsaka titignan mo, kahit na kunyari matalo sila dito, they'll be 4 and 5. They win the next two games, they will be at 6 and 5. So that's a that's a very decent win loss record. They are already qualified for the quarterfinals. At na lang po nagbabakbakan to sa ilalim para sa ulit dalawang ticket into the next round. Tanggal na po yung Blackwater kahit may dalawa pang laro. Kia and Legs at Barako Bull nagagawan sa dalawang natitirang silya. Pero yung position na ano, hinahabol nga. Miralco, they want to move up para at least may chance ang makasungkit ng twice to beat or at least kahit na twice to win. Hindi ganun kalakas yung magiging kalaban. Break muna kami sa aming pagbabalik. Makakasama na natin si Apple Devin.